So what I'm going to do now is use the Arduino EMF detector and I've, I've carefully mapped that, well that's why all the lights are off right now um, is that they were interfering and then the computer is an interference too but I've checked to make sure it's out of the way. I've also found that it often helps to ground myself um, just to get a more stable uh, reading so um, and I'll show what's on the computer in a moment but yeah so right now it's like 10 12 holding the detector close to my body but if I ground myself um, it comes down to about five um, but then as I come in closer to the emitter it does affect you know it's interesting if I come midway with this antenna it, it's significantly improved um, I think uh, you know, there's that old, I don't think it's related, but there's a you know, quarter, what is it, quarter of the wavelength the antenna needs to be in order to, you know, maximize its, um, the real power response. But, um, so it, it, it's about four, four and change um, that really maximizes. So again, as I bring this um, back to myself, uh, it kind of stabilizes at about five. But then as I bring it closer, it comes in at about 12 right now here in the middle. And I don't know if it's the length of the antenna or that little, that little crink in the antenna here um, that might actually be helping. You know, geometry is a factor because, you know, that's why we, we wind these lines is because um, they, they uh, kind of clean up the EMF, the, the capacitance that they, the stray capacitance, because it, I think it, I believe it deconstructively interferes upon itself, so it, it's self-contained. Um, but anyway, um, that's the basic gist, is that as I move out, it comes back down, and then as I move in, it comes back up. And that's what we want. And so we'll try and put a bunch of these together and create a topography of electromagnetic fields that can then um, discern um, for our eventual goal for this, this particular experiment um, prototype, preliminary pr prototype, is, is to be able to discern distinct events being each of these um, nodes that are um, uh, being stimulated by a capacitive, capacitive sensor. Um, so the, the distinct event of each of those capacitive sensors stimulating each of these what I'll call primary nodes and, um, and then also the relationship between these primary nodes that will, the intent, the, the hope is to create a distinct electromagnetic field that can then be sensed by these what I'll call secondary nodes, the detector, um, and can be um, recorded and shown to be distinct depending on the pattern of how I'm interacting with a number of capacitive sensors. Um, but yeah, all that's summarized um, in uh, the beginning of the experiment.